Welcome to our YouTube channel Medical Subjects Made Easy. Today's topic is multiple choice questions on terminologies. 1. Which term is used to describe a sudden increase in the number of cases of a particular disease in a specific region? A. Endemic B. Epidemic C. Pandemic D. Syndemic Answer, B. Epidemic. 2. What is the term used to describe a global outbreak of a disease, affecting a large number of people across different countries or continents? A. Epidemic. B. Pandemic. C. Outbreak. D. Syndemic. Answer, B. Pandemic. 3. A disease that occurs regularly in a specific population or region is known as a. sporadic disease b. endemic disease c. epidemic disease d. syndemic disease Answer, b. endemic disease 4. Which term refers to a disease that occurs irregularly and at unpredictable intervals? A. Syndemic disease B. Sporadic disease C. Epidemic disease D. Endemic disease Answer, B. Sporadic disease 5. An outbreak of a disease that primarily affects animals is called A. Epizootic. B. Enzootic. C. Epornithic. D. Zoonotic. Answer. A. Epizootic. 6. A disease that is regularly found in a specific animal population is referred to as A. Epizootic. B. Enzootic. C. Epornithic D. Zoonotic Answer, B. Enzootic 7. A disease that affects only birds is known as A. Epizootic B. Enzootic C. Epornithic D. Zoonotic Answer, C. Epornithic. 8. An infectious disease that can be transmitted from animals to humans is called A. Epizootic. B. Enzootic. C. Epornithic. D. Zoonotic. Answer. D. Zoonotic. 9. A disease that is not normally found in a particular region or population is referred to as A. Endemic B. Epidemic C. Zoonotic D. Exotic Answer. D. Exotic 10. The time between exposure to a pathogen and the onset of symptoms is known as the a. Incubation period B. Generation time C. Latent period D. Serial interval Answer. A. Incubation period 11. The time it takes for an infected individual to transmit the pathogen to another susceptible individual is called the A. Incubation period B. Generation time. C. Latent period. D. Serial interval. Answer. B. Generation time. 12. The period of time between initial infection and the ability to transmit the disease to others is known as the A. Incubation period. B. Generation time. C. Latent period. D. Serial interval. Answer. C. 
latent period. 13. The time interval between the onset of symptoms in the primary case and the onset of symptoms in the secondary case is called the a. Incubation period. b. Generation time. c. Latent period. d. Serial interval. Answer. d. Serial interval. 14. The first case of a disease in a population is referred to as the a. Index case. b. Primary case. C. Secondary case. D. Sporadic case. Answer. A. Index case. 15. A person who is the first to contract a disease in a population is known as the A. Index case. B. Primary case. C. Secondary case. D. Sporadic case. Answer, B. Primary case. 16. A case of a disease that is directly or indirectly transmitted from the primary case is called A. A. Index case. B. Primary case. C. Secondary case. D. Sporadic case. Answer, C. Secondary case. 17. The proportion of individuals in a population who become ill after exposure to a specific disease is known as the a. Incidence rate b. Prevalence rate c. Mortality rate d. Attack rate Answer, d. Attack rate 18 the natural resistance of a population to a specific disease, resulting from a sufficient proportion of individuals having immunity, is called a. Epidemic control b. Endemic control c. Herd immunity d. Zoonotic immunity Answer, c. Herd immunity 19. The period during which a large proportion of a population is immune to a disease, leading to a decrease in its transmission, is referred to as a. Epidemic control b. Endemic control c. Herd immunity d. Zoonotic immunity Answer, c. Herd immunity 20. The concept of herd immunity helps to protect individuals who are unable to receive vaccination or are immunocompromised. True or false? Answer, true. If you found this video interesting please like this video and subscribe to this channel.